I'll tell later. you what, uh, Denise in Massachusetts, I hear what you're saying, but it seems to me that it was said in the context, just like when Travis Alexander said, you know what, uh, being with you, I want to just kill myself. That doesn't mean he wanted to commit suicide. It's a term of art. And when she would screw over her friends in her youth and they would come running to her parents, there's a far cry from her screwing her friends over and being hateful and manipulative and deceptive and actually being mentally ill. Um, very quickly, I want to go out to Dave Hall, a very dear friend of Travis Alexander, saw Jody Aries the day after Alexander is slaughtered Dave, I really want to hear your thoughts. I mean, this is a woman who pulled off going to his memorial, pulled off lying on national TV over and over and over about what happened that day, put on a, a, a completely normal face, a face of normalcy to you after the murder, and now she's claiming mentally ill? Yeah, Nancy, I think we're all amazed with that. Someone that's mentally ill does not plan a burglary, steal a gun, barter for gas cans, take off their battery, off their phone, change their hair. All the things that she did, she is obviously not mentally ill, but plan A, which was self-defense, battered about uh, abuse syndrome or something like that, that isn't working very well. So they're laying the foundation for some appeals on some type of mental insanity, which is just preposterous. And Dave, even throughout the trial, all of her tweeting during the trial about selling her t-shirts, making money on her art, all of her interviews that she gave, I mean, it, it, trashing Travis Alexander, trashing his family, trash, trashing the jury, she's not mentally ill, she's just mean. She's evil and she was even bragging about how high her IQ is. Well, you can't have it both ways. You're either very smart and intelligent or you're mentally ill, one way or the other, but she can't have it both ways.